Well, today, the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimonu, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. But what do we got going on here? Well, this is part of an article from the New York Post. It says, uh, Trevor Bauer, accuser charged with allegedly defrauding exiled MLB pitcher after faking pregnancy. So you don't remember the story. This is a former Major League Baseball player, uh, pitcher. And he was accused by one woman who, who confessed to what she was doing while she was still in his bed on video and then posted that video onto the internet. It's like, okay, you, <laughs> you just outed yourself as a thief. And then another woman said, you know, hey, you got me pregnant and you owe me millions of dollars because you got me pregnant. So, you know, a lot to talk about here. Now, this isn't necessarily woke. This is sort of the standing up to the woke and winning in this case. Before we get started, I do want to thank everybody for stopping by and supporting my work. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube doesn't subscribe people every single day. And you can find me on Rumble, BitChute, Twitter, or X. And let's get into this article. Uh, we'll scroll it down a little bit. One of the women who accused exiled MLB pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual misconduct was uh, indicted this week for allegedly defrauding the former one-time Cy Young Award winner in Arizona, according to legal papers. I guess the Cy Young is a big deal for pitchers. I don't know. I don't follow any sports. Darcy Adana Esimonu, who sued Bauer and allegedly demanded $1.6 million after claiming he impregnated her, was charged with one count of fraudulent schemes and artifices on Monday. Yeah, you hate to hear it. <laughs> but another thing is, it doesn't cost $1.6 million to get an abortion. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about that. Bauer and another man were listed as the alleged victims in the case weeks after a grand jury handed down the indictment, according to paperwork provided by the Maricopa County District Attorney's Office. She was also charged with theft by extortion, but only against the other alleged victim. Bauer, in a five-minute video message, slammed Esimonu as he accused her of lying about what he says was a, a consensual encounter. Yeah, now, the clip we saw at the beginning was part of that five-minute video. We'll watch the rest of it. Don't worry. We had one plain encounter in December of 2020. Nothing that could be considered remotely rough said Bauer, who has denied all of the allegations he has faced over the last few years. Esimanu could face more than 16 years if convicted on both charges. You hate to hear it. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. This is just a tragedy. <sighs> Girls out there breaking the law. Fraudulent schemes and artifices is described as obtaining a benefit under false pretenses. Multiple outlets, including Fox News, reported that Esimanu is the same woman who sued Bauer in Arizona in 2023, accusing the MLB pro of holding a knife to her throat and choking her until she passed out. Okay. Sounds more like criminal charges instead of uh, civil charges, if that's the case. The lawsuit also claims the encounters, or the one encounter, left her pregnant, which Bauer had denied was the case. Bauer, who has never been charged over the allegations, went forward with a countersuit and claimed the woman was demanding $1.6 million to end the purported pregnancy. Like I said, it doesn't cost that much to get an abortion. Here she is. So stay away from her, boys. Of course, she's going to go to prison for a while. So by the time she gets out, she's not going to be attractive anymore. He refused, but said he would support whatever choice she made and ended up paying $8,761 related to the supposed pregnancy and abortion. So that $8,000, $9,000 is way too much to be paying a woman. What, what is she offering you? She's going to pay that much. The woman later said she suffered a miscarriage. Bauer, in his video, claimed she was never pregnant. Yeah. So he said at least two law firms dropped his money as a client during the legal battle. Yeah. Scottsdale police told the AP last year that Bauer filed a criminal complaint against the woman in January 2023, claiming she was trying to extort him. But detectives did not recommend charges to prosecutors. Authorities also confirmed no charges were recommended after the woman filed a complaint against Bauer in December of 2022. Scottsdale police directed the Post to request a report pertaining to the case when reached for comment. More information beyond the indictment was not immediately disclosed by the Maricopa County District Attorney's Office. A possible legal rep for Esamanu tied to the civil case did not reply. Barr also brought up Hill, the first woman who publicly accused Bauer of assault and took legal action against him. Yeah, she did. Bauer countersued and the two later settled their lawsuits 
without either side giving the other money. Imagine that. Soon after Bauer posted his video, Hill replied on social media and dared Bauer and his agent to attempt to press charges against her. Okay. It's just, when you do that, bad things happen. So Bauer was released by the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2023 after serving a lengthy suspension tied to the allegations. He has since pitched in Japan and in Mexico in hopes of getting back into the major leagues. Yeah, um, he lost like multi-million dollar contract over this, I'm sure, whatever that was that he had with uh, LA Dodgers. But you got to watch where you're putting your wing wang. That's, that's what it comes down to. You got to be careful with these women. Unfortunately, in the modern America, modern day United States, these women want to shoot first and ask questions later. They want the butterflies. They want you to, they want to chase those butterflies, follow those butterflies, fly with those butterflies into the bedroom. And then once in the bedroom and, you know, all the, you know, all their feelings are involved, they don't care what happens next. They don't care if it was just a one night stand or if it was, or if it turns into a long-term relationship or whatever I'm doing. Now, sometimes they do. Sometimes they, they want to do one thing or another, but if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. If you don't follow the butterflies, you don't let these girls follow the butterflies, you get no action. That's what it seems to me. I mean, it's like you got to, once the butterflies appear, you got to jump and you got to ride those butterflies or else you, she's going to lose interest and then you're going to end up alone. That's how it works. It's ridiculous. It's like, can't we actually be civilized and develop a relationship and then worry about whether or not we're going to go to the bedroom? Nope. All right. So let's take a look at this video here. That's probably too big. I don't know. I want to make it bigger. We can make it bigger if we zoom in, right? Yeah, there you go. All right. Zoomed. Let's go ahead and see what this has to say, what he has to say here in this video. One of the women who accused me of sexual assault just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. Imagine that. Uh, let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this. You may remember her from this video as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. Well, today, the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimonu, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months It says, I guess you smelled cocky and confident with slight stubble. Hmm, I did make that comment that your shoulders look broad and are strong. My feminine lenses were on. Okay. That's weird. Girls are weird. I don't understand this. Afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this He's going to read this tweet, I think. Let's see what he has to say. Text from January 7th, 2021. At one point... Let's go back and read him. It says, I just want to sleep next to you again. I will be very quiet, promise. And I will sleep, though, in the morning. I'll have to leave and will slip out with a blink, okay? Come on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with Can I sleep with you? Is what one says. With me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Okay, that's a no. You're not getting my my seat. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No guy who did this. And um, he signed all his paperwork saying that they could not collect child support from him ever. <sighs> but I do not trust any of that. <laughs> there's no there's no amount of certainty that I could have that you would never come back to me and go, yeah, you owe me 18 years minimum. 18 years minimum. It could be as high as 24 years, depending on what state you live in, what the child does, because they will pay out for, um, if the child goes to college, you can keep paying. My father had to do that. The children from his second marriage when they were in college he was still paying child support, even though they were over 18. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed, for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex. But her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? 
She also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her, in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to... It says, he's showing on the screen here, so, to confirm without proof of the abortion or even the date of the abortion, we cannot continue to represent you. We urge you to consult with other attorneys who may have different standards. You mean unethical standards? Supporter claims, but they'll try to... And then she says, great, I appreciate your time and input today, and I'm glad we can agree to 750,000 to 3.6 million as a settlement bracket. That's a big bracket. As explained on the phone, we will start high and understand the lowest you will accept to settle is 750,000. Have a beautiful day, Adana. Okay. I tried to get my money anyway. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence and they informed Adana that they Let's see what she says here. Hi, Adana. As your legal counsel, we have all agreed that the recording is det detrimental to your case to the point that we will very likely not be able to continue representation of you on this matter. We are requesting a copy of the recording to verify the authenticity. I know this is difficult news, but without the medical records of your abortion and a recording like this, this is what we feel is insurmountable. Hugs, Amy. Hugs is really inappropriate. What? This is not a professional law firm. What the hell? They can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. And of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Now, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. And that gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness, whom she knew, for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him too. Uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate. And just so no one can say, well, he still has two other accusers, just because the first two are complete frauds doesn't mean the others are. Here's a couple facts about them. They both had lawyers first demand in excess of $3 million to not go public. Uh, in both cases, only after I refused to pay any sum of money did their lawyers make anonymous claims in the media. They both had the opportunity to file a criminal complaint against me. Neither of them did. They both had the opportunity to file a civil suit against me. Neither of them did. They both had the opportunity to participate in Lindsay Hill's civil suit against me. They could have even done so anonymously. They both refused. One of them even submitted a statement to the court stating that she never made public accusations against me. The other refused to participate so vehemently that Lindsay Hill took legal action against her trying to force her to participate. She still refused. So they both had the opportunity to testify under penalty of perjury. Neither of them did. One can only wonder why. Well, there's, there's no speculation there, right? We know that this is all fraudulent, so. But it's so bad. It's just still so bad that at least one of these women is going to prison. Perhaps it's because all their claims against me are lies. Now, it's been two years since these women and their lawyers attempted to weaponize anonymous claims in the media against me to take my money. I addressed them at the time, and as far as I'm concerned, it's in the past. But if there comes a time in the future where I need to defend myself further, I will not hesitate to do so. Uh, for now, there's no reason to speak further on this topic, though, because outside of Adana, who's now been indicted with felony fraud, there are no claims against me, no ongoing investigations, and no outstanding lawsuits. At this point, I'm not sure what else I can possibly do to prove my innocence in all this. I did not do what I was accused of. And every institution that our society is entrusted to rule on issues like these, like courts, judges, law enforcement officers, prosecutors, they all agree with me. They've rejected every single claim made against me, even going as far as charging one of my accusers with a felony. If any evidence of any of these claims actually existed, I would have been charged, or at the very least arrested. But that never happened. What else do I have to do to prove that this entire situation has been a massive lie? This is insane. At what point do I get to go back to work and continue earning a living? Well, it sounds like you're back at work. I mean, in Japan and Mexico. Obviously, you're not getting paid as much in either of those countries, I'm sure, as you would be in the United States. Uh, I don't really feel for him not making, uh, making money, knowing that these ballplayers make millions. They make so much money. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think he deserves to be accused, falsely accused of this stuff, but I'm not, I'm not shedding a tear over the, la the fact that he can't go back to his Major League Baseball job because he, he misses the money. If, if he was barely making it, you know, if he's like, I just want to get back to work, you know, I'm a working class stiff, I only make $100,000, $50,000, whatever, even $150,000, then I'd be like, yeah, I mean, I, I feel you because you need that to survive. He's bankrolled, he, assuming that he was wise with his money, which he should be, he would have enough bankroll to survive the rest of his life off of just his savings alone, let alone the interest. And, you know, you could just go to some third world country 
and find women who aren't going to do this to you and then, you know, have everything that you need. So that's all I got for this time. F around and find out, ladies. F around and find out, you social justice warriors. Good luck to you. I'll see you in the next video.